More people live in cities than ever before. This rapid urbanization has brought numerous challenges, including trash. In Shanghai, some people have a unique means of addressing this challenge. I'm from Hunan. I entered the trash running group in 2018. Over the last three years, there's been a trash run every day. And recently, we've organized trash runs around Shanghai's subway line number four and around the subway lines in other cities all over the country. We make a coordinated effort to pick up trash. When I joined the group in Shanghai, there were about 50 people in the group already. Then, within a month and a half to two months, there were 500 people. Now, there were 500 people all of a sudden. So a second group was formed. Then the second group turned into another group of 500 people. Still, many people came because they thought this is a really cool thing. Some people may think, aren't all these people environmentalists? I don't think that's the case at all. In the beginning, they may not care all that much about the environment. But after a while, they may slowly begin to pay attention to this matter. And some may even decide to make changes in their lifestyle. I'm from China, and I've always lived in Shanghai. I used to blindly buy lots of things. Whether they were on sale or I thought they looked nice, I would just buy them without thinking too much about it. In 2015, I accompanied my boyfriend, who is now my husband, in a marathon run, and I began to do long-distance running myself. Since then, I've completed more than 30 marathons. When I went to Japan to complete my first marathon, I thought the cities in Japan were very clean. Although the cities were very crowded compared with Shanghai, the streets were very clean, and that gave me a bit of shock. After I started taking part in trash runs, my attitude towards, for example, plastic products or products made of materials that are environmentally friendly began to change. I've slowly come to the realization that I shouldn't create any new trash. This is how trash running has changed my consumption habits. Actually, I used to be a compulsive shopper. It was just that I was buying lots of things. Now, my consumption habit is to only buy those things that I need. Moreover, I now just buy those things that I'll need within the next few months. I don't blindly buy a lot of things anymore. First point is safety. If you can't compete, just complete it slowly. We'll all be here until 4 o'clock so you can complete it slowly. And then the second is that there may be reflections on the subway signs. So when you take your photo there, make sure you take a photo with the sign clearly illuminated. Don't mess that up. Last year, someone messed that up. And what's the third thing? Picking up trash. You all have tongs and bags. Just pick up the plastic trash. You don't need to pick up other trash. My own opinion on environmental protection, it isn't that okay. How much trash generated by others am I going to clean up? The important point is to reduce. In my own life, if I don't need something, I don't need it. Because I really like to run. I often go run in the mountains for a really long run, possibly for 8, 9, 10 hours or more. You may find life in such that you might realize, as far as material things are concerned, there aren't really many necessities. So in my own life, for example, if I move, I can move all my things in two hours because I don't have that many things. If you go pick up trash on the street, it may feel a little weird. But you will find, doing it with a lot of people, you won't feel shy at all. We have a slogan, one person influences a group of people, because a person is part of a group, and then a group can influence a city. Yeah, this is what we are doing. For more information, please visit 1990institute.org. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.